Hi guys, I'm Em. I'm going to be your Weddings at Woodhouse tour guide today. We're going to have a little run around the garden and I'll point out ways in which I've seen it used just to get your ideas flowing. By no means am I dictating how you need to use the space. It is yours for 48 hours and you do with it what you want to do. Uh, we'll then have a little look inside the house just so you can see the setup in there. And we're going to jump in the car and have it whiz around the 54 hectare property so you can see what else happens here and um, check out the other photography options that we have as well. Here we go. It's a beautiful heritage listed mansion. It was built in 1863. Coming through to the paved terraced area. Now we're about nine o'clock in the morning, bright and early. We're at the end of March. So you can see you've got the autumn colors coming through at this time of year with the yellows in the background there. Autumn has actually come a little early um, in Piccadilly this year. But you can see those lovely colours starting to come through. This one here is the oldest magnolia tree in the Southern Hemisphere. So this one blooms uh, mid-December through to mid-February. And the way that you can tell the age of a magnolia tree is by the size of the blooms. Um, these ones are the size of dinner plates. Their scent is out of this world. They're absolutely stunning. It is a beautiful photography backdrop with or without the blooms. Coming through here. This is our traditional ceremony area. Um, still one of the most popular. Uh, I think the reasons for that could possibly be um, the number of entryways you have to make your grand entrance coming out through from the manor down the pathway or perhaps if you're incorporating a car you can pull it down the drive and come up through the arbor down there and you've got another entry over that side I think the second reason why it's so popular is that so many different styles work here. So we've seen uh, wooden bench seats, mismatched wooden chairs, uh, Americana chairs, the white sash chairs, uh, red rug, rug runner going down the center or some Persian rugs. So whatever your style is, um, you can drop it into this space. Um, you see ahead of us, this is actually an ordained chapel. So if that ticks off a box with you or any of your family members to be able to say you got married in a church, this will do that. Um, about 50% of the ceremonies that set up down here choose to just tastefully cover over that cross with some foliage, which completely blends it into the background. So it is very much achievable if, if that's your styling. Beautiful side view of the manor. Gonna walk down to the creek area. So Cox's Creek runs through the entire center of the property. It comes through the natural springs of Piccadilly, so it runs all year round. Even in the height of summer, there is still this lovely little trickling sound coming over the waterfall. Makes for some beautiful photography. Speaking of which, across the creek there, we've got our little jungle area, which is a great photography backdrop. You've got thick green, glossy leaves, trees growing up diagonally, big boulder rocks, winding paths going along the creek line. So don't forget about that. Some ceremonies set up here. You can imagine some mismatched wooden chairs perhaps set out with this as the backdrop for the ceremony. Making your entry down through the path.
Now this beautiful area here often gets used as the car park. Uh, if you choose to use it during your celebrations or for your ceremony, you can easily put the cars over the other side. That is not a problem. This area here gets used a lot for ceremony. And you can see the autumn colors coming through this tree here, but forms a beautiful natural arbor there. So you can imagine standing under there, plenty of space for everyone to be seated. Another lovely ceremony spot. You see the little hidden staircase through there. Now this beauty coming around the corner has turned into a, another very popular ceremony spot and you're about to see why. So this is a copper birch. So late May, typically, these leaves are a literal copper colour and it's absolutely stunning. Throughout the rest of the year, you'll see light greens, deep greens, rich burgundies, bright reds, yellows. So these poplar trees that are growing sideways, forming a bit of a natural amphitheater. So you feel quite enclosed, even though you're right out in the open. What I love about this is how much coverage this provides. If you've got a little trickling of rain or a lot of sunshine, your guests are going to be sheltered to some degree. And just coming through to the back area of the manor. Again, revealing another ceremony option. Imagine the two of you in between the palms with the beautiful manor in the backdrop. Plenty of space, of course, for everyone to be seated out here. I'm just going to duck up through this little garden bit. So this area has been set up uh, to hold uh, a, a fire. We, we put a large fire pit in the centre of this area. So outside of fire ban season, of course, you would be able to have an open fire. Generally, that's between um, May, beginning of May and the end of November. You would have a fire there. Otherwise, have seen some wine barrels, a big a wine barrel set up in the centre with some stools around it. It's a large gravelled area. It's nine metres by 18. This is where a pavilion would be set up if you so required. Seems a shame to me to cover in this beauty, but you may have it in your vision. Uh, this very comfortably seats 130. We've had 150. 
We've got heaps of space up on the veranda here. If you wanted to bring the br bridal table up here, perhaps. Or just scattering out some tables for a more or less formal reception. Beautiful big wide veranda, original shingles. Beautiful for photography and of course provides that shelter if you need. We're back to that paved area. All right, we'll have a little look inside. Welcome to my humble abode. Uh, two downstairs bedrooms in here fitted with the queen beds. Uh, these beds get made up with linen included in your venue hire. This is traditionally the bridal suite. I've seen some lovely photos of brides getting ready in here with the photographer coming through, looking through the French door. And second private room. Again, these two beds would be made up, so you've got the king single in here as well. It's the dining hall. So this would seat 60 if you did need to bring your, ceremony, your celebrations inside. Um, if you were doing a cocktail style or buffet, you could use this space again if you needed to bring the party inside. Uh, creating some extra space just by pulling these tables up around the uh, around the walls. Alternatively, um, of course, if you can be outside, you're going to be, but potentially on the Sunday morning when you do a breakfast cook-up for anyone who stayed over, you might do that in here and muse about the fun time you had last night. Commercial kitchen. So caterers have no problem working from this space. Of course, you might be doing your breakfast cook up yourselves on the Sunday morning. Plenty of fridge storage space. That's a freezer there. You have a commercial dishwasher, zips everything through in a matter of minutes. Everything's set in here for 60. That's the capacity of sleeping. So you've got basic crockery and cutlery, enough for 60. Is a barbecue sits just out the back door if you're going to do a breakfast cook up on the barbie and i'll point out um, the wooden top trestle tables 10 of these come included in your venue hire that you're welcome to use outside and this is just the walkway through to the bathrooms so you have a disabled toilet and shower on the left and then male and female toilets each have three showers and three toilets in them and so you've got your entry point through from the door and we're back out looking at that graveled area. So you guests can come through the courtyard for easy access to the bathrooms. Just on the way back through, I'll point out these chairs. Again, 60 of these. You are welcome to use them outside. They are a standard chair size, so you can easily hire more um, or Organise some chair covers to go over those, depending on your styling. And into the drawing room. A beautiful area, um, particularly if you're incorporating inside in with your, your celebration. These French doors all open out and just create a really lovely flow through. You're literally opening up the walls by opening up these doors. You can see out you've got your access through from the graveled area out there if you're wanting to pull people in or needing to 
Um, we've seen gin bars set up in here or tea and coffee stations perhaps for older guests who are wanting to get away from the heat or the cold or the noise. And the ballroom. So this can form your dance floor. Again, you can see you've got these French doors that will open out. Can form a wet weather contingency for your ceremony. That's a pull down projector screen up the back there. So you might put some photos up of your time together or perhaps have some karaoke or a movie night. There is a noise curfew of 11 o'clock uh, in consideration of the other guests on site. Doesn't mean the party needs to end, just means you need to contain the noise inside. So pull the party inside and keep going till dawn if you wish. Yeah. For those that do choose to party on, we also offer some group accommodation. So upstairs is not quite as fancy as downstairs. We have 58 beds up here across eight bedrooms. Six of the eight bedrooms are set with six beds. So they look like this. Then there is a bedroom with 10 beds and one with 12. Bathrooms up here, male and female toilet, but all showers downstairs. Sorry, I didn't turn that light on. All right. So I'm going to stop it here and we'll jump in the car and uh, I'll be back in a sec.